Director General Mariam Babangida National Center for Women Development, Honorable Asabe Velita Nasher, has urged women to assume leadership roles across all sectors in the country. She made the call during a workshop for state women affairs commissioners and their teams in Abuja. The event, backed by the UN and Canada, focused on addressing the underrepresentation of women in leadership positions. Honorable Nasher expressed concern over the low number of women leaders despite their significant presence in the population and encouraged state officials to advocate for greater female participation in government. Despite comprising nearly half of, our, half of Nigeria's population, women, women occupy a disproportionately small percentage of leadership positions in government, in business, and civil society in Nigeria. Data from 2015 to July 2024 reveals concerning statistics regarding women in governance and decision-making roles across the various states, which is not acceptable. And that is why we are here to talk to ourselves on how to improve on our number. While some states have made commendable progress, other states are yet to demonstrate a dedicated commitment to this cause. This disparity not only lacks equity, but also impedes our collective advancement and prosperity as women. Honorable Bashir explained that the workshop aims to bolster women's leadership skills as participants will learn how to lead effectively, make strategic choices, and create an environment of creativity and excellence. Through this capacity building program, our objectives include and number one, enhancing leadership and management competencies to enable effective team leadership, strategic decision making, and fostering a culture of innovation and excellence. Two, this workshop is to enhance, to train us in enhancing understanding of gender mainstreaming and intersectionality to cater to the diverse experiences and needs of women and girls. And lastly, this workshop will facilitate networking opportunities to connect commissioners with their peers, experts and stakeholders, and also provide access to resources, expertise, research, data, and best practice. The UN country representative, Mrs. Beatrice Ayong, through her representative, commended women participating in the workshop for their commitment to personal development. Ayong stressed the need for concerted efforts to advance gender equality, women empower women and protect girls. That is what all Nigerians must do to address these challenges. What everyone does, including those in the demand and supply chains, of governance in advancing gender equality and empowerment, uh, and empowerment and protection of women and girls matter. This is where the ministries of women affairs both at the federal and state level come, come in due to their unique positioning uh, as coordination ministries. But the question is how much is being allocated to support women and women ministers in their coordination mandate. What can we do differently to empower women and to enhance the coordination role of the ministries of women affairs? These are the challenges we all, that is the government of Nigeria, development partners, the private sector, as well as women and gender champion must respond to. Lord Mayor of Leeds, United Kingdom, advocated for the inclusion of women in decision-making processes. 
Well, we need to fix things. They say the journey of a thousand miles always starts with a, with a step. From what we have heard today, this is the National Center for Women Development. Women occupy half of the population of the country and even the world, and the other half, women make them. So for me, it's all about the government recognizing that women should be put around that table. Obviously, in the UK, it's a completely different ball game for us. The inclusion of women in the UK is intentional. In terms of politics, we have for my party, which is the Labour and Cooperative Party, we have seats that are dedicated for women and we call them the All Women Shortlist. So that clearly shows that the government are interested in making sure that women have their own cohort and have their own allocated seats where representation matters. Until that starts to happen in our country here in Nigeria, it's still going to be a very long way for women to be represented. These initiatives reflect a growing commitment to addressing gender disparities and advancing women's roles in leadership both locally and globally.